So I've been playing a lot uh, with Audacity, uh, the program, the last few days. And one of the things I thought would be fun to do would be to take a tuning fork and put it right up to the speaker and see what sort of frequencies I'm actually getting out of it. Most people don't realize this, but a tuning fork that's, say, rated for 256 hertz doesn't just play 256 hertz. It actually also plays other frequencies. Uh, people who are musically inclined, which does not include myself, uh, know this as timber. Think about it this way. Uh, a piano and a French horn or any other instrument could be a stringed instrument. They can play the same note, but they're going to sound radically different. So what's different about that? What's different is what musicians call timber, or a subset of that they might consider tone. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a 256 hertz tuning fork, at least that's what it's rated for, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it right against the speaker so that uh, it's really loud, I have the amplitude cranked up, uh, the boost, so we're going to try to see how many different frequencies we can see in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Audacity again. And I'm going to put this right against the microphone. So when I give the signal, you may want to turn down your uh, speaker for about five seconds or so. So I'm going to go right about now. Okay, it is now safe to listen again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze this. I'm going to highlight this region here where the tuning fork was playing. I'm going to go to Analyze, Plot Spectrum. And what I want to do is make this 2048, 512. This is not the greatest. Oh, log. There we go. So I'm going to make this big so everybody can see that. And here's what's kind of neat. When you look at these, these are actually all different frequencies that are playing. If I put the cursor over here, if you look down in the bottom here, when I put the cursor, there's a line there. I can actually see the peak frequency 257 hertz, which is what you would expect. So you can see there 257 down in the corner. But what you might not expect is if you go over here, you're going to get it says 507 hertz. Notice that's approximately twice as much as 257. If I go to the next peak, I'm getting 770 hertz. It's about three times. It's the third harmonic. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now just for fun, if I was to take this frequency, 2559, so 2,559 for the 10th harmonic and divide that by 10 to get the fundamental frequency. That's 255.9, which happens to be pretty close to 256. That's pretty cool. So even this device, this tuning fork, which is designed to play 256 hertz, actually has more than one uh, frequency going on in there. It has many harmonics, and it can have partial harmonics, and it's these different characteristics that make different instruments sound different. Something else that's fun to do is uh, you can actually look at your own voice and uh, try to see what it sounds like. I'm going to try to do something I never do, which is to produce a note that doesn't make people run for the hills, and we're going to see what that looks like. Uh... Now let's analyze that. Highlight, analyze, plot spectrum. Uh, let's see. Let me... Yeah, I like that a little better. You can always adjust this resolution here. So right here, this is peaking at 89 hertz. Care to take a guess what the next one's going to be? If you guessed double that, you're right. That would be the second harmonic. So even though this is the note I'm trying to make, there are other harmonics that are in there. And how intense or how loud these other harmonics are is going to be a function of my voice and things like voice control, which I don't have breath control, all sorts of things. Uh, but this would be considered the timbre of, uh, of my voice. So I just thought you might find this as interesting as I did. And uh, 
you can really try this at home. Remember, Audacity is a free program. All you need is a computer with a microphone and uh, an internet connection. Google Audacity, and you can do this for yourself.